What's up, guys? I'm Sean, and here are the AJ Hartman Canards. Today, we're going to be installing the AJ Hartman Canards, also known as dive planes, to go along with the front splitter. The kit comes with a set of four canards, two for each side. It's made out of pure carbon fiber, and it includes the screws and nuts, as well as detailed instructions. So we're going to test fit the canards. The wider one goes on the bottom, the smaller one goes on the top. Follow the instructions. It tells you to measure from the top of the bumper to the leading edge of the smaller canard. Mark the hole then mark the hole from the body line of the fog light. Now double check the inside of the bumper so you don't screw into anything important. Drill the top hole and then we're going to temporarily install the top canard with a screw to hold it in place. Confirm our measurements. Now we can start drilling the remaining three holes. Now temporarily install the bottom screw to hold the top canard in place so we can measure the bottom canard before we start marking and drilling the hose. Because of my CSL front lip, I had to modify the measurements a little bit in order to install the bottom canard. After you marked and drilled the hose, we're going to move the bumper. Mine was already loose from my splitter install. So looking in the inside of the bumper, we can see where the drill went through. And as long as we have clearance for the nut that was included, we're good. If not, you might have to trim the inside a little bit. This is where I install the bottom canard. Install the screw and install the nut. The nut grabs once it starts going, so you don't have to hold it with a tool. After all the screws are tight, the bottom canard is done. It's nice and solid. It was really easy. Now we gotta work on the one at the top. The top was a little bit more challenging because there's lack of space for the back nut. And here's where I had to cut the inside of the bumper bracket a little bit. The other ones I just fished through with needle nose pliers. So here's how it looks with everything put back together. So the front arrow is done. So the idea is that the air hits the front splitter, forces the front end down. The air hits the canards, it funnels the air to the side of the car and up and over the car into the back wing. So with arrow, it provides extra downforce which gives you more grip. So stay tuned for my next video where I test out the front arrow and the new manual swap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.